Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Andres Jose Salazar, The Art of Comics. We're going to talk about sequential art, comic books, graphic novels, illustration. That's what this channel does. This episode specifically, we're going to answer some of your comments and questions that you've been sending on the channel and as well as the Patreon. So check out the Patreon. You can submit questions there as the patrons and also here on the channel. So let's go through some of these questions right now that everybody's gonna be giving me. Let's just answer these, okay? One, what is your favorite comic? Everyone's always asking me about the favorite comic. I mean, I'm a little pedestrian in my answer to this. I really love Mouse, okay? Huge fan of Mouse. We've not talked about Mouse. We probably won't talk about Mouse. Uh, I love it, Mouse 1, Mouse 2. This is uh, a brilliant book. I love all things Alan Moore. Uh, while I love Watchmen, I've probably read that the most, I would say From Hell is my favorite Alan Moore book. Um, From Hell is so deep in layers and understanding, and I like things like the occult. And Masonic things and so uh, it, it speaks to me I'm intrigued by it and so that one is another one I would say is, is my bread and butter plus Eddie Campbell does an amazing job in the illustrations in that book so From Hell uh, Mouse I would say another one would be either Jimmy Corrigan or Rusty Brown by Chris Ware Chris Ware is an artist and creator that does something that no one else can. Uh, he is a master of the craft of telling story and bringing emotion across through images. And uh, there's nobody like him. There is nobody that comes close to what he does specifically. So those are my top three. So there you go, favorite comic. Um, what have you read lately that has been good? Uh, you know, I haven't been reading, you know, I read the stuff we talk about here on the channel and we talk about books and stuff, but I don't have a lot of things. I mean, I guess what I've read recently, uh, Shawa was really good. This is a great, a great manga series. I, I love Shawa. This is, <laughs> this is really fun. If you like history and you like kind of personal stories about Japan, this book was probably one of my favorites. Um... Other than that, that might be my most favorite thing. When did I read Rusty Brown? That might have been a little bit too far ago, way ago. Uh, that's what I'm gonna say for now. What do you like most and what do you like least about making comics? Uh, that's a good question. I would say as far as the process of making comics, uh, the thing I like the the thing I like the most about the process is that stage of composition of the panels and page. So the page panel composition, kind of creating the flow, the thumbnail stage, I like a lot. Um, I also like the very beginning coming up with the story ideas and kind of bullet points and kind of flushing out the story, the beats. I like that. That's probably my favorite part. I, well, I also like inking when my pencils or whoever's pencils is very tight or defined. And so when I don't have to do a lot of guesswork and rendering in inks, I love that. It is very fun to do. Uh, what I like the least about making comics as far as process goes would be probably just rendering dude just like sitting there and drawing like figuring all these things out um coloring i do not like coloring <laughs> i colored prior missouri too 300 pages but uh looking back coloring probably is not my favorite uh lettering you know it's not my favorite i would say about making i mean now if you talk about just like the business of making comics it would be you know like any kind of uh entertainment business where you know, the instability, the chasing down gigs and people to work with is a, is a bit of a bummer, but 
Okay, uh, I want to make uh, I want to make comics. What do I do? So here's a question I get. I want to make comic. What do I do? What's the process? How do you go? So I got a lot of videos that talk about some things. But I would say the number one thing you should do if you want to make a comic is um, start one. Just do it. It's kind of like film. It's like you want to make a movie. Make a movie. Grab your phone and start shooting something. Same thing for comics. Uh, have your germ of your idea and just start drawing the comic, the panels, the images. Draw two, three, four images in some sort of sequence with some sort of story. Do not come up with your favorite superhero, his origin, these bad guys, and his big... Do not go there. Just start with something simple and basic like blocks, you know what I mean? You build upon those. Find your story and just do it. That's what I say. And the more you do it, the more you craft, the better it gets. That's that's honestly the best the best advice I could give people. Uh, other comments people are giving us here through the channel. Uh, they really appreciate the video. Hey, thanks, you guys. I appreciate all you guys who are saying uh, the, the series is great and they love the channel and they love these videos. You know, someone said, please do more of the uh, the music uh, album art, you know, the record art. We could do some more of those. Uh, people love Kyle Baker. I love Kyle Baker. I love the Meltdown comics by Marvel, the Wolverine Havoc stuff. Um, it, it's brilliant. That, that stuff by Kent Williams and... John Muth is just freaking badass. Um, yeah, what's the point of that Mobius story? So the Mobius story in heavy metal, you know, sometimes these stories, especially more, I would say, geared more the European, is they're not very plot heavy. I feel, please correct me if I'm wrong, you know, those of you who live outside the U.S., European comics at times can be more esoteric can be more involved in emotion and feeling and creating some sort of environment versus the hero protagonist, you know, John Campbell going through his journey. I think that is more of a Western idea, but, but the European uh, feeling is different about comics. If you look at a lot of Monera's work and, and, and uh, you know, Mobius and Inca Bialz and these different creators uh, there, it's not always a very cut and dry, simple three act structure. So a lot of times there's no point to the story. It's just art, you know, and that's just the way that is. So um, what other comments? I think, you know, a lot of it is just, you know, hey, great stuff you know, this is great, we love him, you know, John Paul Leon, of course, a lot of, a lot of people commented on that one, he, it's very sad that he passed, he was young, he's only a couple years older than myself, and he uh, is brilliant, one of my favorite artists, he is brilliant, and uh, it is very sad that we, that we lost him, and uh, those of you also who make little corrections and things I say, appreciate that, hey man, uh, I do the best I can, but I do make mistakes and errors, and so I appreciate you guys keeping us real, you know, checking me when I need to be checked on facts and figures and things like that because uh, I'm passionate, I love this stuff, but, you know, I'm human. I make mistakes. So a uh, quick video today. That's it. Questions answered. Give me more. Send more comments to the videos on this one in particular if you have other things. Also check out my Patreon, and there you can be a part of the... Uh, the process of what I do, learn what I'm doing, as well as be a part of this channel on the backside and kind of seeing uh, how we do these and suggesting for more videos. So thanks a lot. Have a great one and uh, take care. Bye, guys.